Hi friends, welcome to part 3 of our video guide for Marksmanship Hunter for patch 8.1 and the Battle of Dazar lore. In this video, we're going to go over the ins and outs of our single target rotation. I'll start by demonstrating our opener and what a true shot window should look like, followed by what the standard priority outside a true shot should look like. Afterwards, I'll delve into some more of the particulars and point out some things that you should be aware of. First off, many people get confused and have trouble differentiating between what our priority is during true shot and what our priority is in general. So to simplify it, think of our rotation as two separate windows. We have true shot and we have outside of true shot. First, let's talk about our opener. If you're following my talent guide, you should be running master marksman, careful aim, hunter's mark, double tap, and calling the shots. Our single target opener is as follows. First, apply Hunter's Mark to the target. Next, double tap about 10 seconds prior to when the encounter starts. Next, use Battle Potion of Agility at about 3.5 seconds before the pull. 4. Start pre-casting Aim Shot at about 3 seconds before the pull. Your Aim Shot should fire as the boss is pulled. Next, you want to immediately cast Rapid Fire as soon as the boss is pulled. 6. Cast True Shot paired with any racials or unused trinkets. You can easily do this by macroing them together. Technically, it is better to wait until the GCD of True Shot is finished if you're wanting to min-max, but this is a very, very slight gain. 7. Cast Aim Shot followed by a single Arcane Shot three times. This means cast Aim Shot, then cast Arcane Shot. Cast Aim Shot, Arcane Shot, Aim Shot, Arcane Shot. And you do want to do that combo a total of three times. After that, you're going to cast Rapid Fire. Then you're going to cast the Aim Shot, Arcane Shot combo two more times. So Aim Shot, Arcane Shot, Aim Shot, Arcane Shot. And then you're going to cast Rapid Fire as True Shot is ending. Okay, so let's move on to discuss your True Shot window mid-fight. Your True Shot window's mid-fight will look exactly like your opener with a couple of minor tweaks. You should always go into your True Shot windows with close to full focus ideally between 80 and 95 focus. If you're not at full focus, delay true shot a bit and cast a couple steady shots or dump that rapid fire to regen focus. Ideally, as true shot comes off cooldown, you should already be close to full focus so that you don't have to ever delay it. Two, you may or may not have true shot lined up with that initial rapid fire as it comes off cooldown. Don't think that you have to cast rapid fire before entering true shot every time to get it on cooldown and to benefit from that in the rhythm buff going into it. It's acceptable to delay True Shot a couple of seconds to have it line up nicely, but in general, you really don't ever want to delay True Shot, unless, of course, there's a boss mechanic or priority add that needs to be burned, etc. You may end up starting a True Shot without that in the rhythm buff, in which case you will simply shift your Rapid Fire earlier to cast it to get that buff. You will still end up casting the same amount of Aim Shots. Instead of the normal rotation looking like Aim shot arcane shot three times, rapid fire. Aim shot arcane shot two times, rapid fire. It might end up looking like aim shot arcane shot, rapid fire. Aim shot arcane shot times three, rapid fire. Aim shot arcane shot, if that makes sense. So a couple of things I wanted to point out. First off, if you're doing the rotation, you'll notice that sometimes we ignore our second charge of precise shots that we get during true shot. Why do we do this? Well, our goal during true shot is to pump out as many aim shots as possible. For talents, we took Master Marksman, which makes the first arcane shot after we cast an aim shot free. This means that casting that initial arcane shot is free for us, but casting that second charge of precise shots will cost us focus. So by casting the second charge of precise shots during our true shot window, we ruin two things. One, it screws with our focus. We won't have enough focus towards the end of our window to pump out as many aim shots as we would like, resulting in a DPS loss. Two. In the same fashion, those secondary casts of precise shots obviously cost a GCD, which in turn delay our rotation, causing us to cap on aim shot charges and, again, cause us to lose casts of potential aim shots. Next, you'll notice that we are not casting all of the possible rapid fires that we get during true shot. The answer to this is pretty simple. During true shot, aim shot does more damage per second than rapid fire does due to its reduced cast time. You simply want to use rapid fire to have enough focus, which allows you to cast additional aim shots. We ideally do not want to be casting steady shot if we can help it at all during our true shot windows. 
You'll notice that we cast rapid fire before true shot as well. True shot doesn't actually do much in terms of buffing rapid fire. And as I just said, our goal is to pump as many aim shots as possible during true shot. What true shot does do for rapid fire is reduce its cooldown. So by casting rapid fire prior to true shot, we benefit from that reduced cooldown during true shot while allowing us to focus on casting aim shots as much as possible. Additionally, if you have any in the rhythm traits, casting rapid fire just before true shot gives us that bonus haste from in the rhythm, smoothing out our true shot windows. You should also make it a point to maintain the in the rhythm buff throughout your true shot window. If you're doing the rotation right, you sort of naturally do this anyways, but you should be cognizant of it. Finally, let's talk briefly about why we cast double tap so early. The buff lasts 15 seconds. By casting it at 10 seconds, you naturally reduce its cooldown by 10 seconds during the fight, meaning you get to use it earlier later on in the fight. This may or may not actually help depending on your kill times, but sometimes you will get an additional double tap in the final 10 seconds of the fight. Technically, you can cast it before the pull at about 14 seconds, uh, but that, that can be cutting it close with the pull timer, so we recommend using 10. So now let's get into our standard priority. This is the standard priority that you should follow outside of True Shot. First, apply Hunter's Mark to the target if your target will survive more than 10 to 12 seconds or before engaging in combat. Use double tap on cooldown. Pair with aim shot during careful aim windows. Otherwise, pair it with rapid fire. Aim shot on cooldown if precise shots is down. You never want to cap at two charges. Rapid fire on cooldown. Try to use this below semi focus. Arcane shot when precise shots is active. Arcane shot to avoid focus cap or to reduce true shots cooldown. Finally, you want to steady shot as a filler or to generate focus. So really, this is a pretty simple rotation. It basically works out to hitting things on cooldown most of the time. The big thing here is that you never want to delay rapid fire, and you always want to preemptively cast steady shot. Don't wait until you have zero focus for something. That will cause you to delay aim shots and precise shots, which may cause you to cap. Don't think that you have to cast aim shot as soon as it's off cooldown. Remember, you have about a 10 second gap where you can cast other things, or deal with movement abilities until you absolutely have to use that aim shot charge. As long as you don't cap and dump all of your precise shots, you're totally fine. Alright, so now let's talk about some of the more advanced things to think about while performing your rotation. Generally, you want to hover close to high focus, around 75-ish, however, this isn't set in stone. When you get better at the rotation, you can fluctuate as much as you want, as long as you have high focus as true shot is coming off cooldown. In the same vein, you want to try and stay at low focus prior to a double tap plus rapid fire combo. If you have any focus fire traits, this combo essentially gives you 75% of your focus bar back. So prior to casting it, you want to strive to be as low focus as you can. This means dumping some extra arcane shots prior to casting it and having that foresight ahead of time. On the flip side, you don't have to dump focus before casting it. If you're at 70% focus, don't delay double tap plus rapid fire just to dump focus. That's something you should have done ahead of time. Now let's talk about double tap usage. The rule of thumb is that you use double tap on cooldown and always pair double tap with aim shot during careful aim and with rapid fire outside of careful aim. If you are in a careful aim window and you're low focus, it's okay to pair it with rapid fire. Real quick, I just wanted to touch on using double tap on cooldown. When 8.1 first came out, us theory crafters thought that you should be holding double tap for true shot if you had unerring vision traits. As we've improved the APL and have done more testing, we came to the conclusion that it's actually better to use double tap on cooldown. That GCD during true shot is just way too valuable, and holding double tap could result in losing cast of it throughout the fight. Now, when you're wanting to pair double tap with rapid fire, it is always, always better to hold double tap as opposed to holding rapid fire. If it's like a second off, sure, you can hold the rapid fire to pair it with the double tap, but any more than a second or two is, is generally better to use rapid fire as soon as possible and wait for your next rapid fire to pair it with double tap. In a similar fashion, if double tap happens to come up during true shot, don't think that you aren't allowed to use double tap during true shot now. You still want to use it on cooldown. If double tap does come up mid true shot, you want to pair it with your second rapid fire and cast double tap in place of an arcane shot. Next, let's quickly go over Hunter's Mark usage. 
Obviously, you should always apply Hunter's Mark prior to entering combat if possible. If you have to swap it mid-combat, the ad that you're swapping to must survive more than 10 to 12 seconds, else it's a waste of GCDs and potential damage. In Battle of the Tsar Lore, for example, the Sirens on Blockade don't need a Hunter's Mark generally, but the ads on Gronk should have a Hunter's Mark since they last about 20 seconds. You should also never ever cast a Hunter's Mark mid True Shot. The wasted GCD during True Shot is just way too much of a loss, and that 5% extra damage for 10 seconds isn't worth it. Finally, let's talk a bit about calling the shots and its interaction with our rotation. Using Arcane Shots reduces the cooldown of True Shot. You have to be cognizant about this for certain mechanics. Opulence is a prime example of somewhere where you must think about this. The cooldown of True Shot with Calling the Shots is about a minute 15 seconds, but the difference between the two ad spawns is a minute. Ideally, you want to have Double Tap and True Shot going into both sets. So using Arcane Shot a little more than normal here is generally the play, just to get that True Shot back off cooldown. Just be aware of certain timers or pull patterns in Mythic Plus to make sure that you have True Shot available for the most opportune times. Alright guys, that wraps up part 3 of our Marksmanship Hunter Guide. The next video will have a similar format but will cover AoE rotations and priorities instead of pure single target. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and be sure to sub to my channel. If you have any questions, want some Hunter coaching, or just want to come and chat, feel free to join my Discord or catch me on stream. You can find those links in the description below. Thanks for watching guys!